I'm Sierra Renee. Hey, y'all, it's Kyle Dean. And, and you're, you're watching, watching the Broadway.com show. Welcome to another episode of the Broadway.com show, your weekly guide to everything happening on the Great White Way. Or as we like to think of it, the official thank you Game of Thrones for making a big star out of Pedro Pascal, we can't wait to see do Shakespeare in the Park this summer fan club. We're working on the name. Let's get started with the news. What's the buzz, Paul? If Then was a clear favorite of the fans this year, sweeping the 2014 Broadway.com Audience Choice Awards with six trophies, including favorite new musical and two for leading lady Adina Menzel. Also honored were co-stars Anthony Rapp, LaShawns, James Snyder, and the power ballad Here I Go. Neil Patrick Harris picked up three awards for playing Hedwig in the categories of Favorite Leading Actor in a Musical, Favorite Funny Performance, and Favorite Diva Performance. Act One, Les Mis and A Glass Menagerie rounded out the show categories, and yes, Wicked was named Favorite Long Running Show for the ninth time. See all the winners at awards.broadway.com. The revamped Finding Neverland will fly into ART in Cambridge, Massachusetts this summer with a starry cast. Tony nominee Jeremy Jordan will play J.M. Barry in The Tuna, opposite Broadway and West End vet Laura Michelle Kelly as Sylvia Llewellyn Davis. Joining them are Tony winner Roger Bart and Tony nominee Carolee Carmelo. With Pippin Tony winner Diane Paulus Helming and movie bigwig Harvey Weinstein producing, Finding Neverland is one to watch for a Broadway or West End transfer. We know you've already gone dancing in the street at Motown and you've found your corner of the sky at Pippin, but now you've got an excuse to go back and catch them both again. Original Pippin star John Rubinstein, who played the title prince in the original Broadway production in 1972, is returning to the musical this summer, filling in for Terrence Mann as King Charles. Then dance your way over to Motown to catch Josh Tower, who succeeds Brandon Victor Dixon as real-life record exec Barry Gordy in Motown beginning June 17th. Well, we know how we're spending our summer vacation. A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder won big at this year's Drama Desk Awards, nabbing seven trophies, including Outstanding Musical. All the Way, Twelfth Night, and Hedwig also went home with tchotchkes. Meanwhile, two categories resulted in ties. Neil Patrick Harris and Jefferson Mays shared the Lead Actor Award, while Anika Larson and Lauren Worsham split the Featured Actress vote. Two ties, Drama Desk voters? You're so not helping me win this Tony office pool. The planned arena tour of Jesus Christ Superstar, featuring Johnny Rotten of the Sex Pistols, Michelle Williams of Destiny's Child, Incubus's Brandon Boyd, and InSync's J.C. Chazay, has been suddenly canceled just over a week before it was set to launch. The tour was set to begin in New Orleans on June 9th, but promoter Michael Cole cited low ticket sales and a lack of interest as the reason for cancellation. Let's mourn that insane sounding tour starring a fever dream full of 90s celebrities. See you next time, Jesus Christ Superstar. Hello, my name's Gabriel Ebert, and you're watching the Broadway.com show. Our tweet of the week comes from Neil Patrick Harris, who is racking up awards left and right for his performance in Hedwig and the Angry Inch. And apparently, he's also spreading his germs all over the city. Neil tweets, Oof, I got a sinus infection. I blame either our ill son or one of the 75 people I've kissed on the mouth during a Hedwig performance. MPH, ordinarily we would love to swap spit with you, but let's hold off until you're feeling better, okay? Follow this legendary makeout king at Actually MPH. Our star of the week has it all. He's talented, handsome, funny, charming, oh, and he probably smells like rainbows. Obviously, I'm talking about Hugh Jackman. The Tony winner has been on a theater-going marathon as he preps for his fourth Tony hosting gig. He's also busy raising skin cancer awareness, promoting the latest X-Men movie, tap dancing his heart out in rehearsal, and apparently playing a mean game of ping pong. Hugh, you're Broadway's own superhero, and for that, you're the star of the week. Hi, I'm Annie Golden at the opening night of Violet, and you're watching the Broadway.com show. Keep watching. The Cripple of Inishman, which is headlined by Daniel Radcliffe and garnered the most Tony nods of any play this season, has a running plotline throughout the show involving an audition. So, I asked the stars of Martin McDonough's dark comedy, what's the worst thing that's ever been said to you at an audition? Check out the answers in this week's Pop Poll. Uh, the worst thing anyone has ever said to me at an audition was... <laughs> Thank you. That means go away. I think the better thing is, what's the worst look you've ever gotten at an audition, which is this. Thank you. Asking my age, that's what's the worst. <laughs> Once, 
I really wanted to audition for a play. A play? And I was told I wasn't handsome enough. Uh, next. I did an audition for, um, it was a Scottish film, and I was doing the audition, I was doing the accent, and halfway through I just went, I think I'll stop now, will I? And the director went, yeah, just stop there. <laughs> I was asked, did I ever go to drama school? And I said, no, I never went to drama school. And the director turned around and said, probably should have. <laughs> We're loving the news that Mad Men star Elizabeth Moss is eyeing a return to Broadway after Peggy Olsen finishes taking over the entire advertising industry. Moss has cracked open the Wendy Wasserstein, Tony and Pulitzer Prize winning play, The Heidi Chronicles, and is considering taking on the role of Heidi Holland, which was originated by Joan Allen on Broadway and Jamie Lee Curtis on TV. We're giving this casting and the return of this heartbreaking play a big thumbs up. Call us crazy, but we were actually looking forward to Broadway 4D, the multimedia extravaganza complete with in-theater sense slated to open in Times Square. But the new project, which was supposed to revitalize the long-abandoned Times Square Theater, has sadly been scrapped due to financial troubles. Even after performances of Christina Aguilera singing Evita and Hugh Jackman singing Oklahoma have already been recorded. What's gonna happen to that footage, guys? How are we ever gonna find out what Buenos Aires smells like? Thumbs down for this missed opportunity. It's SmackDown time. In last week's battle, we asked you which Tony nominee's secret talent is grosser, a Gentleman's Guide star Lauren Warsham's skill at picking her nose with her tongue, or Inish Mon's standout Sarah Green's knack for lighting cigarettes with her toes. Well, it was a 50-50 split as all of you were equally revolted by both of these lovely ladies' should-have-stayed secret talents. In this week's SmackDown, we're getting literary. We know you're busy stocking up on this summer's crowd-pleasing beach reads, but two of the juiciest books of the year won't hit shelves until the fall. Hedwig Tony nominee Neil Patrick Harris will release his self-titled Choose Your Own Adventure-style autobiography, and Cabaret's Alan Cumming will put out his own moving memoir about his complicated relationship with his father. So, we want to know, which one of these sure-to-be mind-blowing tomes for two of Broadway's favorite stars are you going to pre-order right this second? Neil Patrick Harris, Choose Your Own Autobiography, or Cummings, Not My Father's Son. Tweet your vote to at Broadwaycom with the hashtag BeWaySmackdown, then tune in next week to find out the winner. Thanks for watching another episode of the Broadway.com show. We leave you with this year's Broadway.com Audience Choice Award winners telling us their favorite curse word for their super fun fill-in-the-blank acceptance speeches. Holy <laughs> We'll see you next week. Shit. Bitch. Shiza. Oh, the F word. Fuck. 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 Motherfucker. 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 <laughs>